Good morning, it's Jeremy. It's Thursday, November the 11th, Remembrance Day, and I'm just down here at uh, Harbour Front, the National Yacht Club, which is in front of there. You can see the island airport over there, and this is my setup today. We're looking at ADSB, and we're looking at it on the uh, multi PSK local map. So there's my uh, version 1 RTL, 15 centimeter uh, magnetic mount whip antenna. And I'm using a version 2, the metal case RTL has a zero frequency error, and I'm using a MCX to uh, a semi adapter. Okay, so it looks like we have some activity here C0193B. it there on the screen. It's moving around. So let's just uh, take a quick look at the uh, blog post uh, and the blog post uh, describes how we set up this local map. So the first thing you're going to do is you want to open up the um, program Mapperative and in Map Mapperative what happens is you see uh, OpenStreetMap and what I've done is I've got OpenStreetMap for the Toronto area and I've just expanded it here. So what you do is whatever area you want just select it uh, and center it basically where you want it and so the size of what you want and when that's ready what we do is we enter a, a command in here it's in the multi PSK help menu which is very good you can always look it up in there if you forget it so basically what we're going to do is we're going to enter a command in there so in the blog post I've got the command so you're going to say export bitmap KML equals true true and then uh, define that what you're going to call your file. I call mine Toronto area and it's a PNG file and the, the optimum height for multi PSK is 800 by 600. So clip that and put it into the command window uh, here and then you execute that and then what happens is that in the uh, mapperative uh, folder in the output directory you're going to see three files. Now these two files uh, the KML file and the PNG file, what you do is you put those into the multi PSK directory, uh, which in my particular computer is located in C. For instance, if I go here, uh, C, there's multi PSK in maps. So you put those two files in there. Okay, so I've got them down here somewhere. There we go, Toronto area. Okay, so that's what you do with the files. Now, the next thing you do is you go into multi PSK. And up here, this is the main screen, up here is where you select local map. You can either use Google Earth or a world map or local map. So when you select local map, this is what you get. And you go in here into maps. And what I've done is I've just, there was another map listed here and I just erased that. And I typed in the name of my map and I imported it. And then I closed with storage. So that puts your map in there. I've got two maps for, Har for Toronto. I've got the Toronto area. And Toronto Harbor okay so that's what you do there and then you get your local map so that's basically all there is to it and once you've done that if you want to get the uh, for instance the ADSB output uh, on your local map just press that and if you want Google Earth then you have to have Google Earth open then press the Google Earth button uh, Google Earth generally doesn't work unless you have an internet connection but you can store enough uh, on Google Earth, let's say before you go out into the field with an internet connection, zoom in on Google Earth where you want to look and then 
close the program down and close your computer down. Don't delete anything. Don't clean up any of the files or anything. And there should be enough information in the um, cache memory to display Google Earth.